right. We figured it out. I did not need that little zigzag at the beginning. That, that's the whole thing that threw everything off. So I go up. You have it open over there. No, I close it out. No, I don't need that one. Then I go this way. Lift. Then up. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. But no, I made sure it was 18. Oh yeah! Happy 4th of July, America! Oh yeah! It's Oh my god! It's, cut, it's gonna cut it close a couple of times. Why? It's gonna be like... Whoosh, like that. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not... Should be necessary. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Leave it not on the E! Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. That should have been called Hugo's Dodge. Cause... Holy crap! <laughs> Yeah, we got that one done. All right, okay. so where to next? Uh, North L Park. North Ellie Park. Got it. Talk to the old guy there. Uh, yeah. The police around here can't spare a moment for a poor old man. I asked them if they could solve this puzzle, and what did they do? They just toss it aside. We're busy with the specter, they said. It's an insult to intelligence. Puzzle 069, Lanky Lamppost. Oh, no. Oh, another one of these. The answer is four. I'll let you do, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you fuck. Well, it's like a one foot tall post, cast a 1.5 shadow. Correct! Five point tall, uh, four foot no lamppost, so cast a five point shadow. It's a short lamppost. Yeah! Four feet? And then that person was even tinier. They were like six inches. What the fuck? Seriously, You'd think the police would uh, help a frail old man, not rush up to find some boogeyman. What's the world coming to these days, eh? Can you tell me that? No, no, no I can't. No, I don't care, you old man. Um, Pike Lane. Talk to her. Oh, no. What are you lot dilly dallying about here for? Who's gone all day? Do you? I certainly don't. Well, you don't have time to talk to uh, You've got time to walk. Uh, get a move on. If you're intent on slacking off, why don't you help me with the puzzle? In your face! <laughs> zero, seven, zero. Good neighbors. Okay. Uh, okay. A lives west of B. So let me put A here. So it's west of B, because west is this way. And then C's over there, because it's the only other spot. Yeah. Cab. <laughs> uh, the uh, red roof is east of the yellow roof. So... Here. And the blue ro roof is west of A's house. Done. So much. Alright, that was easy. Some puzzles must be met directly. Yeah, that was easy. Correct! <laughs> no puzzles. You're making up for lost puzzle. time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something from. Or starting from the west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying what we already did. Ooh, we got rubbed. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that up and you'll just find. Er. And you'll be just fine. Life isn't uh, isn't kind to an oaf. All right, now back to the hotel. Just pass me this way. Hi, Aldis. Bye, Aldis. Okay. Oh God damn it! I think the hotel's lined up pit since the specter came through. The whole thing might topple over someday. Joseph, you all right? You nearly fell over yourself. Huh? I'm fine. I've been at these walls for too long. I've been... How about you? I have a... Tr How about a battle of wits? wits? That'll get me through the string again. Wits, you say? Well, I could never refuse such a challenge. Alright, so you... Did we do the fountain puzzle? I don't think we did the fountain puzzle. Okay, the fountain mind. puzzle? Never mind. Uh, the hotel owner, Joseph, has challenged the professor to a little game. A beer drinking. There are 15 empty bottles on the counter. Empty because he drank them all already. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk, you fuck. <laughs> uh, the players take turns removing one, two, or three bottles at a time. Whoever takes the last bottle loses. So Layton is going first. So how many should I take? One, two, or three? Two. All right. 
All right, so that leaves us with ten. I would take... I'm going to take one. Yeah, take one. I was going to say take one. You took one. I would Let's take... See. I'm going to take these three. Yeah, take three. That leaves us with five. And now it doesn't matter how many he takes. We'll take three. Actually, I'm going to take this other blue one. We take three, he loses. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. <laughs> Correct! A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Well done. Uh, it's important that uh, you take two bottles on your first turn, so you were right. No good. Then, that leaves you with 13. Then you have to leave him with nine, then five, and then finally one bottle, and you win. Which is exactly what we did on our first attempt. <laughs> well, you will, it. I'm looking at that. You beat me. That was very entertaining. Thank you. So what are you talking about? Oh yeah, the building. Landing. The building. Landing. Well, it may cost the ground that's been soft all over the town of the past few months. Sinks all, as I hear. I think the specter's behind all this, but no one listens to me. Huh. I'll talk to her. Bobby! Uh. Oh dear, now what do I do? Come on, Bobby. May I be of service? The lights downstairs haven't worked since the Spectre attacked. We have er, we have guests tonight, and I can't just give them a dark room. Do you have any lanterns? Lanterns? I have some green lanterns. <laughs> Zero stone four, emergency lighting. I have a white one. Oh god. Uh, even if I have a chandelier, is going to be much uh, use in a blackout. Let's say you need a light room during a blackout using only seven lamps. Each lamp will light up the squares it's on and one square to each side of it. Er, you need... How would you place seven lamps to light the entire room? I would do one in each corner. Like here? Because that one you get more. Okay, right. Do one there. One there. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. And one in the middle. Hey, a green lantern. <laughs> Some puzzles must be met directly. Correct. No yeah. Without an answer. Oh, cool background. Yeah, I love those. Correct. The warm glow of the light, uh, the lamplight, is quite nice to have every once in a while, isn't it? <laughs> Arranged. I think the guests will be fine now. Thank you. The lanterns actually add some nice mood lighting to the room. Mm, I believe you're right again. Thank you, Professor. Alright. Let me just check how many words we I have again. I think we have like 20 now. Oh, 16. 16. Okay. Alright, where to next? Um, back to the Wreck Hat Shop. Oh, okay, that's just down the street here. Down here. Talk to him. So this is it, eh? Generations upon generations of hat makers. It all ends with me. Oh, this one. You won't rebuild your shop? There's a, there's a time and a place for hats, and all the kids want are those newfangled it sunglasses. Sounds like, it sounds like we've read this already. No? Anyway, continue. Sorry. Wait a second. You're still wearing a hat. Maybe there's hope! Puzzle 072. Checkerboard caps. Huh. Alright, there are 16 people standing in four rows of four. By moving only two caps, find a way to create a checkerboard pattern. So this guy needs a hat, and this guy needs a hat. So... Move the hat above. That, guy, that hat above. And then... No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. What about you? Oh, he's got white hair. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Correct! Use the white hair to make the truck board. Exactly! <laughs> wow. <laughs> you seem to be really enjoyed that one, eh? Anything having to do with hats is quite fun. You really think so? Maybe I ought to uh, stick to hats after all. Okay, uh, next one is Great Alley Street again. Great Alley Street. Oh, we at North Street and talk to the boy. I'll let you take him. I've been reading a lot of voices. <laughs> I know something about the Spectre, but nobody else knows. Is that so? What's that, then? Think I'm telling you just like that? Solve my maze and I'll let you know. 
Zero seven one fountain fight. This is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. The water in the park fountain is uh, fed through thirteen valves. Jeez. One day, A and B are cleaning the fountain and come up with the following game: taking turns to open up val one valve or two, and they have to be next to each oh, other. Oh, kind of like the bottle one. Sort of. This one is the last person to uh, pull it wins. Okay. So there are thirteen. <sighs> A has already done two, and we're B. So and our goal is to pull the last one. So where should we pull our first valve? And it has to be next to the valves that are open, right? Yeah. I would do one by the return button down there. Right here? Next one. To the left. That one. Okay. So you on that. How now there's four on each side. One or two. And then where should I put those one or two? <laughs> I'll do another one above the, the top two pink ones to the left. Right here? Yeah. Just the one. Just the one. Just one. See what happens. Alright, now there's three on each side. I would do two on the, uh, with the next with the last blue one. Yeah, two there. Well, it doesn't matter. They have to be next to each other. Okay, and so... And he wins. Because I can't do both of those. Damn. Alright, I'll let you take this one then. Alright, so the way you win this puzzle is that there are 11 left. Yeah. So we want to take the one in the middle. Oh, I was kind of... I was close. Then, you mirror every move he makes. Oh, okay, okay. Now, there's a total of four, and it doesn't matter which ones I do, because he can only do one at a time now. Oh, okay. Okay. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. So you're almost right. Correct! You're almost right with your first one. <laughs> and this one just tells you, yeah, you just gotta do that. Wielded. Oh, well, mister. You really did it. You might even be better than my dad at solving puzzles. Thank you. Aren't you going to tell us a secret? I forgot. Oh yeah, the twenty-three spectre. is number one. Fuck. <laughs> well, the specter's really protective, um, protecting the town. See, just like it always has, it says in the storybooks. Man, when we were back in, in our house in North, Fay North Ellie. North Ellie, there was so much damage there. My dad said there were clear signs of a struggle. That cause the specter is trying to f fight off something bad that's attacking the town. Back the night, and the answer really was we saw was the specter alone. Interesting. It's possible we were mistaken, Luke. Let's not dismiss everything until or anything until we're certain. The specter is protecting us. We should be helping it. Well, the next time we see the specter, we shall do our best to do the right thing. Really? You do that? Thanks, Mister. All right, where to next? Um, library. Alright then. Follow the orange arrow. <laughs> oh, that was the cat. The, the cat doesn't have a puzzle. Anyway. Nice. Missed that last time. Where, Where to? Alright, talk to uh, Grossy. Alright. Bruce! Grossy. Or Goosey. Goosey. Uh, a rare tomb indeed. Given that it uh, also bears the title Rare Tomb. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Goosey! Jesus fuck. Kiss! What the fuck? Goosey, what are you doing? Looking down there. I wanted a quiet place to hide, so I thought the library would work. I still still count, don't I? Oh, I was trying to, uh, sandwich myself between these bookshelves, too. You can't just sit in a quiet corner out of sight. Luke, you don't know what it's like to stick out everywhere you go. That's goosey. But I can live with it. Hey, would you like to try this puzzle? This guy's so weird. Zero seven five, the magic pet paint. On a square piece of wood, uh, 20 centimeter sides, a mysterious fellow has painted an interesting design using a brush that is... Uh, that is 10 centimeters wide. Uh, this paint here uses only one type of paint, but it's quite magical. It starts off pink, as shown in example one. 
So it and then you paint in the second coat, it becomes orange, and you paint another coat, it becomes red. Right. Okay. Uh, so, how many brush strokes did it take to paint this design? So, so the brush is ten. Ten. So in order to make this all pink, that's two. Two. So we got that. Then With the three to make the to make the orange. Yeah, but what's that gap in between? Well, he the brush only went that far. So this okay. is the br this is the right okay, edge so of the brush. And this one, is the two, left edge. three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was not that hard, really. Well, yeah. I think this is right. but you gotta visualize it. Correct. I knew I could do it. Yeah, five. Yep. Uh, took the uh, mysterious fellow only five brush strokes uh, to paint the design. Of course, if he didn't have magical paint, it wouldn't be quite so simple. <laughs> no. Moved. We're getting all of them now. Um, Mike Ray says the library is old, er, is so old that even the books on the uh, it even has books on the Legend of the Spectre. I still don't understand, though, Goosey. Uh, Ugh, so why are you hiding the tiny... Ugh, fuck up. It looks so nice and cozy. I thought I could slip in there. I wouldn't stick out at all. Well, that's... It's ambitious. Ambitious, at least. Okay, we're done here. So now go to the staircase bridge. No. Oh, sorry. I'll go there in a moment. Okay, uh, you had her. Uh, welcome to the uh, Miss Hillary Library. If you can't find a book, tell me. I know where, they're mo where all more are. We were hoping to look at a few of the local newspapers. Oh, you continuing story. Crap. No, no, because we wouldn't be able to leave the library anyway. Oh. So that's the next, like, where you told me to go. That'll be next okay. after we continue some story stuff. Okay. The newspapers are uh, over in the corner. If you need an archive copy, I know where those are. I need a newspaper from the day that Mr. Bard passed away. I don't know where those are. Unless you've solved 50 puzzles. So this is one of the puzzle doors that we have to... Oh, but we've got but way we've past that. Yeah, we've been solving every single one so far. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just library policy. And you have done so. Wonderful. Please wait a minute. This also helps make sure that you don't, you know, just... Speed zoom through the, through the game. game. Yeah. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Is this what you're looking for? Yes, this is. Or this is it. May I borrow it? Are you familiar with the concept of the library? Ha! Ah, library humor. Go ahead, but please bring it back. Very strange indeed. No mention of Mr. Bard's death in the newspaper. Well, that's no help. Perhaps not. How long should we wait for Emma? Mr. Layton, do you even think she can even find a library? What was that, Luke? F Fuck! Emma, nice to see you. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and there she is. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You too, Luke. Sorry I'm late, but I had trouble finding the big, scary place with all the books. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emma. I was just joking. Hysterical, Luke. The children's books are all over, over in the corner. Ow! Ooh, burn! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Ow! Sorry, I kept you with, kept you, Professor. Here are the matter, here are the ma materials you requested. Thank you, Emmy. I apologize for the trouble, but this may bring us a step closer to in our investigation. I was about you a surprise. Oh Jesus! <laughs> well, if it isn't old Layton of the of Prussenheller, Inspector Grosky of the Yard. So you're the one Emmy has been helping. Not a very sporting to keep that a secret, Emmy. Why? <laughs> Why? I didn't know what you were talking about, Inspector. So you are the Emmy's Scotland Yard connection, eh? What a small world. It's a small... Shut up. <laughs> no, not uh, that song! <laughs> no, anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I thought our investigation would have uh, jogged the professor's memory at some point. What was that, Emmy? Huh? Oh, what? what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I, 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 nothing. I, it, is that a new hat, Professor? <laughs> Changing the subject real quickly there. Hmm? Haberdashery can wait. I hear there's some sort of giant specter marching uh, menacing this town. Yes, it is quite a situation. It sounds like Emmy has briefed you on the, or on some of the particulars, but I'm going to fill you in on the details. The specter has destroyed parts of town with every appearance. Someone's pulling the strings on the specter. However, I'm not yet certain who. 
A spectre conspiracy! This shall not stand! I, Grosky of the Yard, will help you in your uh, investigation. I like this guy. I shall go to the Missalary Police Chief and demand full cooperation! <laughs> Hold on, Inspector. I haven't told you everything yet. And he's gone. <laughs> Greatly exciting, gentlemen. Well, let's take a look at what Nemi found. I think we'll find some useful information here. Oh, Professor, I had my film job as well. Good thinking, Emmy. Hmm. Go According ahead. to the police report, Bard died when he fell off a cliff. No sign of struggle at the scene. A, a will. will was discovered in his house. The details are sketchy, but it appears that it could have been a suicide or an accident. And look at this. According to the single eyewitness, there was no one else in the area. And the eyewitness was... Clark Triton. I had a feeling it was going to be him. But, my dad! Did Clark ever mention that? Did you know about this, Luke? This, this is the first I heard of it! No one ever mentioned it either. In his will, Mr. Bod left the rights to his land to Clark. Despite having two children. Yeah. He left all his property to someone who hasn't related to him? Why? Hmm. This is even more interesting. There's no mention of the Spectre in today's London newspaper. Despite the massive damage sustained by the town. No mention. Don't you find that strange? Well, the first we heard about this was in Luke's letter. Is someone trying to keep this story from getting out? It would appear so. Who would be capable of controlling the information like that? Let's confirm the report at the Miss Howard Police Station before we jump to any conclusions. Perhaps Grosky has uh, tracked down the police chief for us. All right. There are many unresolved questions surrounding the death of Evan Bard. What really happened there? I'm positive that the key to unraveling the mystery of the Spectre lies in Evan Bard's death. What? Sorry. Why was Clark the sole beneficiary of Evan Bard's will? Uh, let's see, anything here? Article in the Times before... Uh, it appears an archaeological ex uh, excavation team has been sent to investigate the site. The excavation team has yet to been uncover the slightest trace of the city. Uh, nothing new there. Couldn't get a good look. So strange light in the haze. Okay, gotta be there. The music seems to be the same volume. Now, where you go? I'm told the flute came into the possession of Evan Bard. I spotted an old dis uh, disused pipe that emerged by Miss Hallery Lake. Alright. I think we're all caught up on mysteries. Yep. Now to the staircase bridge. Yep. Okay, first more story. Emmy, you may want to return to London at some point in our investigation. So this tells you you can go back to the cars, you can go back at any Got time. it. The way I can catch any puzzles I miss, London. Excellent. Now let's get move on. In the opposite direction. <laughs> Alright. There it is. Okay, uh... uh... One second, let me just talk to Bucky here. Hello again, Bucky. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, you were Bucky. Damn you, right. had, you had the, uh... Hee-haw! Well, pal, Bucky is the man about the town. Coming and doing these fabulous, fantastic boats. Trying to get a boat down uh, one of these narrow canals would be impossible, Bucky. The word impossible is not in Bucky's dictionary, and it should not be in yours either. If you want to ride, Bucky has a great boat here. Alright, so that unlocks another beer. Cool. Okay, now talk to the guy. The weird fucking bird Fitch. thing. You know what I haven't seen since the Spectre appeared? Smiles. That Spectre's not cool. I wish you, uh, I wish you could, all, we could all migrate back to simpler time. I used to have lots of puzzles like this one. Uh, for my friends. The friend, uh, the friends kind of dried up. Mm. That puzzle 076. Swap meet. Okay. Starting with A and moving clockwise, the circle of people uh, are arranged in the following order. Female, female, male, female, female, male, male. Mm -hmm. Swap just two people to create a new arrangement, or starting with A, you will create the same male-female pattern, whether you count every person or every other person. Uh, Okay, I'll let you figure this one out. CD. 
Oh yeah. How about this? Correct. That was it. Yep. Every person, every fourth person. Uh, and Please. then I think it works for every seventh person too. <laughs> oh wow. Or something like that. Maybe that's a different one. Hmm. Hug. Oh. Oh god. That's dark. People oh, I'm saying something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm in a boat right now. Yeah! <laughs> You're not Bucky. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> well, I guess you are Bucky. Yeah. Damn it. People say uh, someone controls the Spectre, but who in town would want to destroy their own nest? I don't think the Spectre is just randomly destroying buildings. Either way, I sure hope the police can put an end to all of this. All right. All right, uh, next one is Close Factory. And you talk to the Spectre. No, wait, no, uh... Yeah! <laughs> so, now we talk to the guy, because he's the only one here. Uh... The days have, been, have gone by so quickly since the, fact, or since the factory shut down. I wonder if I took my time there for granted. It was hard work. I miss it now. A man has to feel like he's working. Otherwise, he starts to get, uh... thinking a lot of strange things. At least at the end of the day, I felt like I accomplished something. <laughs> well, I'm sure you didn't come here to listen to an old man's grapes. You like puzzles? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 077, how the bells toll. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what? So, so, every time you click a bell, the number will go up a certain t amount. Okay. So, below are three bells, each of which has one red and one blue nut hammer attached to it. So, this red, this red, and this red will all do the same amount, no matter which what? one you ring. Okay. Uh, beneath each bell is a counter, and each one is rigged uh, such that its count will increase according to certain rules. Uh, whenever the bell is struck, counters have already reached the numbers shown below. Can you figure out how to use the red and blue hammers to ring the bells and make all three counters display the same number? How how much does the blue go up by? Uh, let's see, that one's 8. Now four. it's 12. 16, so blue yeah, there. 4. 4. And what's the other blue one? 9... 12, 15, 18. So it does it by 3. So, try, um, okay, I think I saw 16 and 16. So go ahead and do, um, uh, the top one, 8. Try to get, make that 16 again. Leave it there. Um, hit the red one. Then hit the blue. 12. Okay. And then this is 3. Bingo! Done! Oh, it just goes automatically. Right. So you yeah. told me when it was at 16. Correct! When I, when I, when I was resolving the puzzles, it took me to like 30 to figure Whoa, it out. Whoa, really? Okay. Well, to figure out the, like, the next common denominator. So, yeah, cool. Neat. Hey, at least I solved that one. I think we're even now. I should be getting home to attend to my flowers and goldfish. With the time off, I've grown a, uh, a new appreciation for nature. Flowers, especially. Right, now oh go god, I'm a hippie! <laughs> oh god. Go to the market entrance. So we have a little bit to go. Oh, wait. Yeah, use the boat. Yeah. What's wrong with you? If you want to ride, Bucky is the same great boat here. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I never activated that one. Oh, okay, then. fuck. Well, this will take me closer. Okay. Because we got to go and talk to Aunt Taffy. Yeah, this is closer. Slightly. It was like one screen less of traveling. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Hi, Bucky. Now you can do... Bucky, what are you doing here? Now, that's a silly question. Where are boats or where Bucky? Where there's boats, there's yeah, Bucky. Bucky. Taking a boat up the... Up From way, way up here, here would, would be, be unthinkable, unthinkable, Bucky. That word I think was well, done in Bucky's dictionary. It should have been you in here. <laughs> if you want the ride, Bucky has the same great boat here. Now we have that one open. Yeah, yeah, we only need two more boats. So to the market. We'll talk to Aunt Taffy and wrap up the episode. Okay. Close this. Uh, Arg, I refuse to be busted in such matters. You seem to be in a spot of trouble. Might I be of assistance? I prepared some candy for a little boy, but it got all mixed up with num uh, my numbers and jars. Uh-oh. 079, sweet sums. Oh, no. 
Oh no. My children have been very er, very kind to each other lately, so I decided to give them some candy as a reward. I have four jars of candy, A, B, C, D. Uh, the combined number of candies in jars A and B will equal to twice the number in jars C. Uh, oh, oh, God. Fuck. Well, at least they already have it written out for me. Thank uh, B and D will equal double A. And taking three candies from D and putting an E A or in A will equal double B. So, the way we figure this out, mm, this okay. is 2B. 2B. Uh, ah, sorry, yeah, I'm yeah. playing a game named 2B. Yes. 2B. So, that automatically makes it an even number. Because okay. anything you multiply by 2 is even. Okay. Now, taking three candies and putting it in A to make an even number means A is odd. Oh, yeah. okay. Which jar contains six pieces of candy? So we need to find which one is even. So A is odd. Uh, but A plus... Okay. Well, it, uh, A plus B will equal double C, which means B is odd. So it would be between... I, I'm it's either C or D. I'm, I'm taking say D. Well, taking three candies out of D to make to put it into A, I don't know. No, no, because B is odd, and D has to be odd to make two A. So it has to be C. So it's only C. Some puzzles must be met directly. It's a good thing it didn't ask us how many Correct! candies are there. Oh god, yeah, I'm fuck the thrill that. Of a good solution. Yeah, even, even equals even. Odd plus odd equals even. Odd plus even equals odd. And then it just has that exact same thing right there. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> While you were taking your sweet time, my like candy's melting. I can't sell these. I have to start all over again. Even a little melted, the taste should be, uh, stay the same, shouldn't it? it? Seems such a waste. Mm hmm. What would you know about candy? I can't sell these now. It goes against everything I believe in. Uh, but they look so delicious. No free candy for you. Fuck off. Or Emmy. Hey! Especially Emmy. <laughs> she has a vendetta against her. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, guys. Oh, no. Uh, well, let's see. How many do I have now? 19. Okay. You have, like, five left. Nice. I know. Alright. Now I will save. Okay. Alright, guys. We'll catch you guys tomorrow for more. Alright. See ya.